So now we learn the basis of sending uh, sensor data to the cloud. Okay, so we have used uh, NetPy and ThinkSpeed. Uh, so in this video, I want to show you another alternative. Uh, if you want to use uh, another cloud, so we will try uh, ThinkSpeed. Okay, so uh, the idea is pretty much the same. We should uh, know what we need to have to in order to use the server. First of all, uh, sign up for Thinkboard Cloud. Okay, so put some uh, information, your information here. Successfully create the account. We need add the node uh, library for for the things board. Okay, to connect to the things board, so go to uh, manage library here and find things board. So we finish installing the library. The, the first thing I want to do is I want to uh, modify the previous program for, for that part to be used with ThinkBot. So uh, let's look at some of the examples. Can you find that? Uh, okay, ThinkBot. And let's see this one. It's created to see this is so we see that first we put the library and we need a Wi-Fi SID and password so this is uh, the same as we had before and now we need the token from from here from this board that we have to put in right and the server name is this so here is my first attempt. I uh, mix the two files together. So I put board here and define token Thinkboard server like that. Where I have to put my asset token later on, and this stay the same. But for client, so I create the TB object. See, uh, it's client. And I removed the code for NetPy. Okay, we don't need pub sub clients and stuff like that. Uh, the Wi Fi setup stay quite the same. And here we adjust the loop. So we use the method used in, in the example to this one right to, to this file and yeah and here is how we set the the temperature humidity and light using the the command send humidity float or in and then call tb loop and some delay so uh, when i compile this file see that uh, it caused some error it said that it needs adeno json uh, that maybe I have to install that in the library. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, do no. Okay, so I think we need this. Check the compilation if it's okay.
okay while we are waiting for this uh, I have to copy the asset token and I think I can find it from the device here oh I, I haven't uh, cleared a new device so we need to do that and the device maybe I call it uh, IG uh, set for in-house in the in-house regulator and uh, let's keep that as default and the device and we need to make it online uh, okay make it public now I can copy the asset socket from this device by clicking that uh, shield sign okay and put it in here so I see that my program is uh, quite okay so far so good I have this I have my board ready uh, so I upload the code to the board after the upload finish we see that it connect to things board and I have my uh, sensor value print on the serial monitor when we click on the device and select the latest telemetry we see that the sensor values are display on uh, on this thing board so the combination is working okay now uh, so let's try to uh, create some dashboard so we go to this dashboard and we haven't have our own dashboard this is just a demo and dashboard the example so just create one create new dashboard after we create the dashboard uh, uh, we let me zoom this in a little bit first click on here to make it public some selection here
at the end we have the widget like this and you can see that as I move my hand to cover the licensor, the value change, uh, the, the live value change. Okay, so this is a real time uh, display of the data.